Hey, everybody. Let me see I, if I have Alex here. And I do. Alex Mashinsky. How are you, sir? Hey, James. Great to be back. Good to be back. We got to stop you? meeting like this. And these are toxic times, but I appreciate you making the time. Um, I, and I just want to, before we jump in, we're doing this because there's a lot of commotion, a lot of concern out there in the marketplace. As Raul Paul says, like I'll even get hate for mentioning his name, uh, the, the monkeys are slinging poop at each other and everything else. But just for the record, I just want to make a quick disclosure up front because a lot of accusations are being cast every which way. But these are toxic times, and I want to make a full disclosure up front. Yes, I have referral links for the things I use. TradingView, FTX, Celsius. And I've only mentioned Celsius link, referral link down below four times in videos, and they were all during Celsius interviews. And all proceeds generated from the Celsius referral link will be donated to charity. That's always been my commitment, very open. This channel is objective, cannot be bought by anybody, despite hundreds of solicitations from every token, every brokerage, every firm. I have never taken any money, never will. Final note, I do have Bitcoin, Solana, and Ethereum on Celsius, and I've never withdrawn anything. So that, before that, uh, I just want to say, clear the air. And that's what this video is all about. So again, these questions as well, I'm going to hit you with. They come from my community. We've had thousands of questions over the last month or less. Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff happening on the internet. And let's go. You ready? Yep. Okay. First of all, you're doing good. You look good. You look refreshed considering these trying times. What's your secret to eternal youth? Work, work seven days a week. That's the secret. No, uh, look, uh, you know, I, I obviously we have a community of almost 2 million people that uh, we've been doing the same thing for five years, right? We haven't changed anything we're doing. And now we're helping even more people. Uh, you could still earn yield. You can still take a cheap loan. You, you can now swap. Uh, actually, yesterday we launched uh, swaps to everybody. Anyone who downloads the app, if you're in the right jurisdiction, you can swap with no fees, no spreads, on ramps, uh, a credit card coming out in July. So a lot of new great stuff coming up. And that's what I'm busy with. And I've used know? the swap feature as well. I do like it. So we have uh, a lot of ground to get through. Let's just jump in. I'm going to give you a softball question first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I noticed that you guys have filed to go public with a mining enterprise. Can you tell us about that? And is that a good time during this hard market, especially since some of the miners are getting crushed? Do you believe it's a good time or a bad time to IPO? Well, so because it's a pending filing, I can't talk about that specifically, but uh, there is plenty of uh, information available if anyone just uses Google to look at uh, how Celsius uh, invested and is doing work in the mining space. And uh, um, I can tell you that great companies have taken several companies public and great companies. There's never a bad time for great companies. So, yeah. so we are uh, super excited about uh, Celsius mining and, 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 you know, but I cannot talk about it because of the pending application. Okay, no problem. And uh, I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room after everything that's happened recently. The number one question from people is, are our funds safe at Celsius? Can you address that for the audience? Yes. So not just that they're safe. Again, we provided anyone who wanted to withdraw partially or fully. Uh, they There were, were no problems. I know people are uh, concerned about the whole market. And they were specifically concerned with the Terra Luna situation that we've publicly stated many times that we would we didn't lend to them we were we didn't buy luna or ust we were not like many others who invested in the project we didn't have any exposure to that we had very small uh, uh, uh losses when we withdrew from uh, the anchor protocol but uh, those were uh, in the single uh, millions right so if, when you're thinking about tens of billions of dollars uh, it's negligible, right? So, but we did want to protect the community, and we decided to uh, withdraw all the assets uh, when the DPEG started. Yeah. In fact, uh, on that note, in some terms, you kind of addressed already regarding Luna, but you mentioned the loss in the fiasco. Uh, is that it? Any other exposure that either Celsius or Celsius Celsians were exposed to at all? No other exposure that I know of. Again, we're we're uh, 
obviously uh, there are other participants who uh, <clears throat> market participants who had big investments in Luna and UST and and uh, so we we basically either reduced or eliminated any exposure to those parties uh, but Celsius itself is not that's not our business we don't uh, invest in this or that coin or 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 things like that right so so uh celsius continues to do uh, what it did for the last five years again most of our business i would say 90 percent of our business has nothing to do with DeFi, right it's not uh, uh it's that's not like if if you do mining or if you do staking or if you do uh, loans right you issue loans against bitcoin or things like that that has nothing to do with uh with DeFi or any of these things and, and luna itself luna usd is its own little world inside DeFi. so just because luna usd had a problem does not mean that DeFi has a problem right and if DeFi is a problem doesn't mean that bitcoin is a problem or anything like that so uh our community is resilient again we see that every drawdown we've we had five drawdowns since we started celsius and every drawdown was at least 50 percent sometimes more and we see people get nervous, they withdraw, they sit on the sidelines, and then they say, gosh, you know, I'm missing uh, the interest. I'm missing mm -hmm. the, the, I cannot take a loan. I, I, I want to do a swap. I want to do all these things. Okay, great. Let me put money back on Celsius. So we, we're seeing, again, hundreds of millions of dollars coming back. And, and again, anyone who withdrew, um, uh, that's, a, that's a service. You can withdraw at any time. And, mm -hmm. and... Uh, that's exactly what uh, you've seen on many, many platforms, not just Celsius, right? People withdrew uh, 13 billion from Tether and all of them got their money back and now money is going back into Tether. So yep. uh, that's just the way of the world. Uh, we're here. We have billions of dollars in liquidity. So anyone who wants to withdraw, again, when people, people have to understand that, that when they see these messages or somebody posting stuff on Twitter who has five followers, you have to understand that these are not real users. These are not real people. These are bots and, and things that other people use to scare you, right? And they hope yeah. that if you get scared and you withdraw your Bitcoin, that you will go to this other company who charges you fee. They cannot compete with Celsius on one-to-one, -one, right? If you match up our service, we don't charge anything. They charge stuff, right? So what do they do? They try to scare you. But yeah. for example, we, we have a service called a huddle mode huddle mode is uh, you can either activate it yourself and it protects you that basically under no circumstances anyone can withdraw anything or celsius activates it for you if we see malicious activity so for example a lot of people on the internet use the same password for many platforms and when they hack you somewhere else or when they get your name on the dark web your password because you forgot about it and you put it somewhere else they will try to attack you on many different platforms including on celsius so we see and uh, uh, somebody trying to come in for an IP address that is not your IP address, we will put on huddle mode for you. So you have more protection. So what do these idiots do? Our competitors, they say, you see, Celsius is putting huddle mode to prevent you from withdrawing. No, we only do that if you need the protection. You don't want it, remove it. But you have that protection and we don't charge for it. It's a free service that no one else has. No one else is going to give you the huddle mode lockup, which you can remove up within 24 hours. Okay, let's take a step back. Uh, one of the reasons I fell in love with Celsius back in the beginning was you always committed to giving 80% back to the community. Unlike a bank, you could deposit a million dollars in a bank. They pay you nothing. Is that 80% ratio still true? Many times it's more than 80 and sometimes it's less than 80. So again, for each coin, each token, it has its own economics and we do adjust the rates because of that. So if we don't make enough, we would lower the rates. And if we make too much, we would raise the rates. Okay. And, 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 and the numbers do move up and down, but the ratio more or less is, is in that range. Yes. Okay. What is the, before we get into the real meat of this, what does the future look like for us customers? Last time we spoke, uh, we talked about the accredited investors. Uh, is there a roadmap for non-accredited U.S. customers right now? Yeah, so again, when you read bombastic messages on Coindesk or on some other publication, uh, the, the, the title doesn't mean anything. So you have to dig into the details. So 
all of our U.S. users, okay, with the exception of maybe a few states, can still take a loan. They can still do swaps. They can on-ramp and so on, so on. So the only service that was affected, right, is the yield service. Everything else still the same. We're launching a credit card program. It's going to be available to everybody. It's not available only to accredited investors. So just, again, just because you read something on the internet or somebody tweeted something and told you, oh, look, Celsius blocked all Americans, it's not true. So for U.S. non-accredited, right, you cannot earn uh, yield on new assets. Your existing assets, everything that's still uh, sitting in your regular account, no issue there. You continue to earn yield on that. On new assets, in July, in a month from now, we will be introducing a new service for staking. So any staking coin you have, that includes Ethereum, it includes Cardano, it includes Polkadot and, and Matic and a bunch of other things, you will be able to earn staking rewards. So the only things you will not be able to earn on would be Bitcoin, stable coins, and other coins that are not stakeable. So, and again, these are the regulations. We have to follow regulation, but all of our other services are available in, in most states where the services are legal. Okay, let's jump into some of the, the meteor questions that the cons community is concerned about. First of all, Max Kaiser, he's an interesting fellow, and uh, he is frequently posting FUD about Celsius and the cell token. Any reason why? Yes, yeah, so Max Kaiser is an investor in a company called Swan Bitcoin, which is owned by this guy named Corey. And another investor there is Mike Alfred. So we expose the fact that this is a ring. It's a network of people who are fighting Celsius because they're trying to convince people to switch. They're trying to convince people that Celsius is not safe. And if you just switch to Swan Bitcoin, everything is going to be amazing. Now, Swan charges some of the highest fees in crypto, both to uh, uh, move your coins, to buy your coins, to withdraw your coins. They have a monthly fee. They have fee upon fee upon fee. Celsius doesn't charge any fees. And all these people don't disclose. They don't, they're not going to go and say, okay, I'm an investor in this company and I hate Celsius because Celsius has been stealing customers from us. So please stop using Celsius and come to our company. Now, Corey uh, attacked my wife. He, he went after uh, Celsius. He has bots attacking Celsius. We, we have a very tolerant policy. We allow almost anyone to have free speech on the Celsius channels. And he just took advantage of it and attacked us with a hundred different profiles, a, a fake profiles that he created on Twitter where he retweets himself all the time. And it's just disgusting. I mean, again, you know, when I came to this industry and I decided to take on the banks, the last thing I was expecting is that I will be stabbed in the back by crypto people who are trying to steal away customers. Now, again, they can't steal customers because you cannot do better than Celsius, right? Uh, every week we pay five, eight, ten million dollars to our community in rewards. No one does that, right? No one else does that. So, and it went as high as I think our high was 15 million when Bitcoin was higher and Ethereum was higher. We paid 15 million every week, right? We paid hundreds of millions of dollars to our community. We gave everybody 1% loans, right? We, we did all these amazing things that none of our competitors have. No one has that, right? So, Again, just because somebody's funding and scaring you when the markets are down, and they know that fear is already dominating crypto, right? All time. You look at the fear greed index, it was at eight. It has never been at eight. Just a few days ago, it was at eight, right? So what do they do? They pile on and they try to scare you and tell you that, you know, somehow some other service that I, I, I posted, they have diminishing customers. They lost half of their customers in the last year, right? is somehow better than Celsius. So the community is with us. You know, we have hundreds and hundreds of positive messages. People are posting saying no problems with drawing. Amazing. Uh, I just use swap. Amazing service. I've taken loans. No issues. And again, we're seeing hundreds of millions in uh, existing deposits from existing or transfers from existing customers as well as transfers from new customers. And many of them are Swan Bitcoin customers who are telling me, gosh, I didn't know I could do it for free. I was paying Corey all this money. I'm not going to do that anymore. So okay. thank you, Corey. Okay. Well, layering onto that, there's more FUD about you or your wife uh, dumping the cell token recently. 
maybe it's the same group claiming that, or is there any truth to that as same well? Group. We, I have my wallet address is listed on the Celsius network. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The listing. And you can see that I have the same amount of tokens for a very long time. So I still have, if you look at the last year, I still have, I don't know, over 90% of my tokens. I, I, I know I do sometimes pay vendors in sell. And if these vendors sell the token, that's not me on me. Right. But, but, uh, I, I, I don't think you will find a single founder of a crypto company that as a percentage owns more than me. Right. So I own about 90% of all the tokens I've ever received in Celsius. So find me one, a founder in crypto or in DeFi that still owns after five years, still owns 90% of their tokens. I, yes. I challenge all of you, any, any viewer. So, so telling me that I'm selling or dumping, uh, you know, the person who lost the most, uh, uh, in this crash is me. I, I own the most sell tokens. So it, it's just stupid to say these things. Okay. And again, this is all FUD. Yeah. This is all FUD coming from people who are, uh, trying to scare you, right? I've noticed the attacks and uh, uh, it's uh, very unpleasant and very uncalled for. There should be no no part of that toxicity in the crypto again, community. Look, we, we publish our numbers every week. Has, has Swan Finance ever published any of their numbers? We do mm -hmm. AMA every week. I invited Corey to a debate on Coindesk. Coindesk reached out to Corey and said, okay, Alex is ready for a debate. Christine, organize a debate. Corey said, no, 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 no. I rather attack him with bots and fud and fake news, and then be be on a show where I actually have to face him and, and talk about the truth. So, all of you, I'm, I'm asking you guys to uh, decide who who is telling the truth and who's lying to you. And if you believe that Corey is lying to you, then unfollow him and 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 stop using his services. Yeah, he did actually. Corey also mentioned Celsius. He equates it to a Ponzi scheme like UST and Luna. But I think we've kick that horse to death and now we understand the motivation and the incentive behind maybe some of this FUD. So let's talk about uh, proof of reserve. Could you explain for the community how you are structured today and can you show and give the community confidence that you have the funds to prevent a kind of quasi bank run, a crypto run per se? Yeah, so we provide many different services that are providing transparency into Celsius, right? The one of them is uh, uh, Rewards Explorer. So every Monday, our community gets yield. And in that email where you get yield, if you scroll down, you'll see a link that takes you into a service called uh, Rewards Explorer that shows you, okay, cryptographically proves to you, okay, did Celsius issue loans? Did Celsius receive uh, income? Did Celsius give you the portion you deserve of that and it's proven cryptographically yes or no it's zero knowledge proofs that is using that we also use uh many other services like uh, proof of reserves is something we partner with Chainlink, that basically guarantees that when we uh wrap or mint assets this is mostly related to celsius x uh, that the original is locked up and is available this is avoiding or, or eliminating problems like Axie Infinity, where people thought that there was ETH behind all of that uh, bridge, but the Ronin bridge basically didn't have any reserve for a week. No one knew that the reserve were gone. So, so these are things that voluntarily, no one asked us to do it. It's not like there's some law that says, hey, you must use proof of reserve. Celsius is the launch partner. We are the first to do this with Chainlink, which is obviously one of the best projects in crypto. So you, if you go to our website, Celsius.network, and you go to our community page, you will see many, many of the uh, under uh, why you Celsius and under community and so on and so on. You'll see all of the proofs that you need to see that we're always acting in the best interest of the community. And, and I always post, like when there's a major event, I, I say funds are safe. Uh, no, Celsius wasn't involved. And again, it's, it's just painful, painful to see. People exactly. from our own community, instead of helping us fight the banks who are trying to, pull, like <laughs> they that, ignore the email. They're like, no, Alex never talked about Luna or UST. No, it, yeah. they must have uh, had huge damage in uh, Luna. No, we didn't have any. Actually, yeah. other people you should be worried about other people. Yes, they lost billions of dollars. In fact, in, somebody just in, somebody just fired me a message actually live text message. 
And it said this guy, Corey Klipstein, who I, I didn't know, to be honest, he accused me of being on your payroll. Am I on your payroll? <laughs> have I ever no, been on I, your payroll? I have, never, I have yeah. never solicited or paid James anything. And James has never solicited or paid me anything. There you go. So Corey, just- Corey is obviously then not telling the truth. So that just proves it right there. I thought I'd bring Yet that again. up live. Yet yeah. again. Beautiful. Okay. Um, if there ever were any type of insolvency issues, it sounds like you've got the framework and infrastructure with your transparency to let the community know immediately if there is a problem. And you also have financial backers too that would back you up. That's true as well? Yes. And, and again, look, we raised over $700 million. I think we closed it in November of last year. Uh, we talked about uh, Celsius mining. We're doing a lot of great things that, that are all in the benefit. These are all things that are contributing to the strength and the reliability of the Celsius community. And, and we're adding thousands of new users, right, every day. So this is not like uh, Celsius is growing very nicely. But when we grow, right, and we're increasing the assets, uh, that hurts somebody. And usually the people that are hurt are saying, okay, I'm not going to change my business model. I'm not going to try to become a fee-free platform. So let me just go and attack these people. Let, and it's, it's not just Corey. There's a, there's a bunch of people that are doing organized attack on Celsius. Why? Because we uh, 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 basically endanger their existence, their business model, which is charging you guys fees, right? So, so you decide. We've been doing the same thing for five years, right? And we've proven that our business model is the right business model for crypto. So stop paying fees to all the exchanges and all of these wallets and everybody else who's charging you. I, I urge all of you, go into the Celsius app, do any swap from anything to anything, and then compare that at the same time to anybody else, especially to Corey and his service, right? And see who gives you more coins. If you do $100 and you get more coins with Celsius, no fees plus more coins, right? Then you should ask yourself, why are these guys so mad at Celsius? Why are they fighting all day long? Because they have nothing better to do. They can build what Celsius built. All they can do is try to scare you. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, switch gears. There is one community member. Um, there, there have been some issues with some type of altcoin transfers. I'm not sure of the exact details, but some Solana withdrawals take up to 24 hours for larger amounts small tests are immediate um, but one uh, member his name is mik i think it's mick he tried to transfer out about 500 sol and it's been pending for three weeks and support said it's with their development team and i know i know this person has been up in arms and very concerned about his solana bag which is very substantial um any ideas about that? The transaction date was also edited and updated by Celsius, but it's, just, it's like it's kind of stuck do, in transition. Yeah, we don't change or update transaction dates. I mean, look, first, again, anyone who wants to withdraw can withdraw. If you do a larger transaction, larger, I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars, not a few thousand dollars, then there are additional security steps. So instead of taking... 10 minutes, it can take 10 hours because we want to verify it's really you. We may ask you for a video verification because we want to make sure that it's really you and you. it's a live update. So some we have people who withdraw millions of dollars, right? Like uh, they, they, they might transfer us 10 million and withdraw 7 million a day later, right? And so on. So, so all of that, we just have an escalating process based on the size of the transaction. If you, uh, if you have something stuck for several week, weeks, that is not, that has nothing to do with, uh, what do you call it? With uh, transfers, okay? For example, if your KYC is not up to date or your, the information you provide us does not match a third party verification that we've done. Or for example, right now, there's a lot of scrutiny over Russian nationals and their movement of crypto you might be in that bucket. And because of that, your your transactions are frozen. It's not us. It's European regulators who are forcing that, right? And we're supposed to notify them every time somebody withdraws more than X and so on. So we just follow uh, procedures. We have standard procedures. We have, a, um, again, we have a call center. You can call us uh, six days a week, right? Works 10 days every day, six days a week. No one else in crypto has that. Try to call uh, Corey, or try to call Coinbase, right? You know, yeah. 
uh, a, a, no one, none of them are going to answer you. They're busy fudding Celsius. They don't have time to take your calls. So but, the, fa the, the fact that it is with the dev team means it will be resolved or they're looking it's into not it? not with the dev everyone? team. No, okay. There is no dev team. So that, okay. what, what is he talking about? You, yeah. He is either stuck in compliance or he's stuck in uh, something is wrong with his account because of KYC and AML and so on. Perfect. But we, we have an excellent customer service. They respond the same day. To most inquiries we have a call center and if it's a security issue then email security at celsius.network all right so i'm gonna go switch gears again and this could be related to stuff we spoke about at the beginning all this stuff being drug up from the past but it may be more fud throwing at you there was a situation with micro money and syrian labs both icos both apparently had a relationship yeah. with Celsius. Um, I, there is no relationship to Celsius. No, no, not whatsoever. I personally, in 2017, participated in two ICOs. Obviously, I regret that I did because, you know, most ICOs didn't work out, right? Uh, 99 out of 100 ICOs didn't work out. So uh, I participated in those. The minute I found out that they're not really delivering on what they promised, I exited. I, I didn't want anything to do with it. I have no further affiliation with them. And just like many people, obviously tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people participate in ICOs. Yes, I participated in two ICOs. But that was six years ago, ancient history. A lot of Wild West stuff was happening back no then. No connection whatsoever to Celsius. So I don't think Celsius existed when I participated in those ICOs. Good. Thank you for that. Uh, next question. Again, dragging up more stuff, more stuff from the past. Uh, it looks like people, <laughs> it might be the same group trying to scare people, but the yep. issue I'm with uh, people. Moshi Hogeg and Yaron Shalem, uh, they're both supposedly suspects in fraud, embezzlement, etc. And they were associated with you in the past. Well, or not Celsius. Against the, they what they're accused of has nothing to do with Celsius. There's no, not even a, an inch of a connection between what they're accused with and anything to do with Celsius. Good. And again, ancient okay. history. Ancient history. And it's about stuff that was, uh, you know, years and years and years ago. Good. Okay. Got a fun question for you now. I love swaps. Um, is it possible to configure a swap limit order in the swap functionality? Currently, you cannot put uh, limit orders. Uh, uh, again, this is supposed to be like a one-click service where you just put, I want to go from here to here, from this coin to this coin, and it's instant. There's no, you don't wait for settlement. You don't wait for blockchain uh, uh, confirmations. There's no gas fees. There's no, there's nothing, no transaction fees. And you get an institutional quote. You get the yeah. same quote an institution would get if they were doing hundreds of thousands of dollars and worth little, of swaps. Yeah. So, and a little pro tip as well, everybody, when you're there, you can actually watch the swap price live. Watch that in conjunction with your trading view and time it correctly. That's the equivalent of a limit order for me. That's how I work around it. But do you think it'll be a roadmap item for the future? Again, we're not a trading platform, right? I mean, we're not trying to compete with Binance or with uh, Coinbase or whatever on, on trading, right? I'm, I'm, we are a hodler community, right? Our 2 million people are hodlers, right? We are promoting hodling. Now, sometimes you want to rebalance, you want to adjust, you want to convert some stuff. So we want to, until now, people were basically exiting, doing it somewhere else and then coming back. And all that is costing us money because we pay Unlike anyone else, we pay your withdrawal fees and your gas fees and everything else. So it's cheaper for us to provide that service inside the app for free yeah. than to let you go outside, do it and come back. So we just, this is a utility. It's one of those services Celsius does that no one else does. Definitely try, just compare. I, I, I challenge all of you, you know, all of James viewers, you guys are sophisticated guys. Find me one service that beats celsius on the swap function anyone any there's 500 exchanges out there hundreds of wallets you're not going to find a single one because you can't compete with no fees good well we have two and a half thousand people watching live now so they're loving this um yeah, po and post it post it do side by side comparison yeah. and post it for everybody to see good and i get a question for you which nation on earth doesn't care about the fud but really wants your service <laughs> Uh, which nation? Ukraine. Yeah. Well, it's very <laughs> close. United Kingdom. 
uh, United Kingdom. Every yeah. day I get asked by people in the United Kingdom, when Celsius. <laughs> so they're hungry for it and they don't believe the FUD. So uh, any roadmap update there at all? I know it's complicated, et cetera. So but- first we, we do have, I think tens of thousands of existing users in the UK and they all continue to use Celsius. So we uh, close the window for regulatory reasons. We're supposed to reopen it. And I'm just waiting for final permissions to reopen it. I don't know when, but uh, we're working on it. Excellent. Well, that's at least something positive coming shortly, let's say. Would that mean the next quarter, the next two quarters? I, I don't Can't know. Say. You know, you, you don't tell regulators or lawmakers, uh, you don't give them dates. They give there, you dates. There has been a bit of a change of tone in the United Kingdom, though, about crypto recently. Did you pick up on that? It seems to be more crypto friendly than ever before. They want to build back a financial center and they know crypto is the way to do that. Well, if you rank uh, by friendliness, I would say uh, uh, the Middle East, like if you look at the Dubai or, or Bahrain or, or those places, uh, Ukraine, uh, uh, El Salvador, those are kind of the leader. Portugal, right? Very, very friendly towards crypto. Uh, so they are like these countries are in their own tier. And then you have other countries who are uh, probably second tier. And then you have countries who are anti-crypto, right? So again, we, we are not... Celsius is not, uh, we're not picking fights or, or whatever. We try to educate regulators. They tell us what to do. We just follow the rules. We, we're not, uh, we don't set the rules. We don't uh, pass laws. Uh, uh, we have a, a library of services, right? We talked about them. Some of them are available in, 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 in some countries. All of them are available in some countries and, and some of them are not available in other countries. So, if you don't see swaps, it's not because Celsius doesn't want to give it to you. Believe me, it's because your country does not provide uh, for that service. Excellent. Interesting question as well. If you imagine somebody has their crypto in a custody account, but not a yield account, are they less exposed to rehypothecation risk? There is no rehypothecation in this custody account, but also if there's no rehypothecation, there's no yield. Exactly. So. So it's not, uh, and by the way, in, in August, we're launching a full custody service that has insurance and has all kinds of other bells and whistles. As you know, we, we bought a company called GK8. The website is gk8.io. And, and they have, I think, $500 million of insurance. And we're going to be mm. offering just, uh, uh, what do you call it? Just uh, custody. Uh, cold yeah. storage, cold yeah. storage insured custody for and people who the, just yeah. want that. And people love that, especially for people who are worried about leaving their crypto to loved ones. Uh, they don't care about yield. They care about security first, which is very exactly. important. And, but the, the beauty is that the GK8 service will come with all the bells and whistles of Celsius. So you're going to have 24-7 customer service. You're going to have the security people watching over your account and, and making sure that no one touches anything and so on, so on. So, so we wrapped all the bells and whistles of Celsius with the best uh, zero vectors for attack with GK8. It's the only service in the world. That's why they have such high insurance is because there's no attack vectors, unlike uh, most of the other custody providers. So it's coming. I think we're launching it commercially in September. And anyone who wants to just store their uh, uh, keys in cold storage, uh, but have the, the Celsius uh, customer service, will have it. Excellent. And related to insurance, uh, since the beginning of last year, I remember the app showed settings insurance where you can opt in on the wait list any update on that or is this what you're talking about no 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 that's a separate thing so we also want to launch a DAO that will basically ensure the assets that are rehypothecated right so basically you call storage you have your own insurance you you're in you you earning yield can you have insurance on that yield and that's what this will be so we work the team is working on it uh, a big chunk of the community already opted in so it's just about launching it and making it available. Again, you're not going to get that from anybody else, right? If, if you think anyone else is working on getting you more people in the call center and providing all these things that I'm talking about, no, they're not. They're just working on finding more ways to charge you fees. Speaking of yield, there is also a common question that uh, when will the highest yield on Bitcoin go back up to one Bitcoin? Obviously, you mentioned at the beginning, it's a self-bouncing mechanism depends on how much you can get on the market and everything else. But uh, any 
insight as to that? Yeah, so these things change again. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. Right now, if we're earning less, we have to pull yields down. Then if we're earning more, uh, we can pull yields up. So so it's, a, um, again, the Celsius team is working super hard on, on, on finding new ways to earn yield. Uh, and mining Bitcoin is one of the examples. That's how you create uh, yield on Bitcoin. Good. Um, second last question. I know your time is precious and you've got a lot of engagements right after this. But for people, just in simple terms, what is the advantage, if any, I could summarize the ways in which I use Celsius, but of keeping crypto in Celsius custody account versus a centralized exchange like FTX, Binance, Coinbase, etc. Could you shed some light on that for the audience? Sure. So you cannot take a loan from Binance, FTX or anyone else, right? So if you if you have a high uh, cost uh, credit card or you need to pay your taxes or whatever, you must sell your Bitcoin, right? With Celsius, you can just take a margin loan against it. Let's say 25% LTV. Uh, you'll pay almost nothing, right, against that. And you don't have a tax event. So you're deferring your taxes. Again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, but uh, you have to understand that, you know, these are the services that you get. You can swap. You can you can take a loan, you can earn yield, right? So all these things are things that are helping you with options that allow you to better manage your portfolio. And again, either rebalance or a, a pay off your bills uh, while still hodling all of your coins. Good. Um, a couple of people are asking in the audience about the sell token uh, live. Obviously, when you compare price action to sell token to Voyager token to CRO token, it's a similar pattern, everybody, like the rest of crypto. Everything's down across the board, and it's important not to look at things in isolation. But do you have any thoughts uh, for the audience here on sell token and where we are today and what they should do? Yeah, so again, the the short term, like uh, I'll, I'll quote Warren Buffett, right? The short term, the stock market or the crypto market is a voting machine. And the voting machine works by how many buyers and sellers showed up every day. If there's more sellers showing up, then obviously the prices go down. But long term, it's a weighing machine, right? And and projects that continue to deliver, continue to grow, continue to uh, create value for the community are going to uh, do better right now. Again, Celsius was the best perform. Cell token was the best performing token in 2020. So we went higher faster than anyone else. And, uh, you know, yes, we came down and, and we're going to continue rebuilding and we're not going anywhere. Again, we, we're doubling down what we launched yesterday. Uh, for example, the swap function is available to several billion people right now on the planet for the first time, right? It wasn't available and now it's available. Boom. Right. So, so I, I see uh, tremendous growth ahead for Celsius. Oh, that's also why we hired so many people and we, we are staffing up to be able to handle, you know, millions of new customers. And the cell token follows uh, uh, Celsius, right? It follows, again, we added a lot of utility, a lot of uh, uh, cell token utility this year. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to our website. We have a whole section about cell token and all the utility and benefits. And all these new services, the credit card, swaps, on-ramps, and everything else is also going to come with cell utility, additional cell utility. So uh, we're always thinking about the community. Again, I'm a huge cell token owner, right? I'm sitting on all my cell, and I'm going to work super hard to make sure that if Celsius does well, also cell does well. You've got skin in the game, as they say. Uh, yes. <laughs> so the interesting question, too, is when will there be support for Euro stablecoins? if any. Yeah, so the ECB, Christine Lagarde obviously stated many times that she is not just against stable coins in euros, but she, she thinks they're illegal. So so I, I, in good conscience, Celsius cannot, even though I know there are several coins out there that are pegged to the euro, uh, Celsius is a good actor and will not list anything where the regulators or the lawmakers are telling you is not a good asset. So we are... Um, very careful about these things. Again, we usually are the last ones to add things. Uh, Coinbase and others add things way ahead of us, right? We just usually wait uh, for all the clouds to clear before we decide that something is safe. 
Excellent. And and just that was the last question. But before we, I get to a quick summary, I want to thank you for being very transparent. Um, so message to the audience and correct me if I'm wrong with anything I say here, Alex. Don't believe the FUD. If you want to know about what else is all about, everything is transparent and open. Do your research. More than any other crypto. Exactly. Show me another crypto project that gives you weekly numbers, has a weekly AMA, has a call center, uh, sends update letters almost every week. So all, all these people who are fudding us are not doing any of these things. Yeah. None of them. Not whatsoever. So you cannot compare, you cannot say, oh, Celsius this, Celsius that, and not do any of these things, right? Yeah. That is just ludicrous. So you have to ask yourself, why are these people so angry at Celsius? Why are these people so mad that we're doing so well? Yeah, and it's, it's funny. I always tell people is uh, always understand the incentive behind an attack or a push or a heavy marketing effort. And that's uh, very, very important to look at all aspects of the whole incentive that's out there. So once again, sir, really appreciate you. Um, any final thoughts for the audience? Like if you look at the Bitcoin action, we're now back at levels we haven't seen since Sunday yeah. <laughs> before the yeah, big I... pump action. It's about 30,400. And it, we had a very big move up from that 29K level. Uh, and things look very positive with all of the on-chain data. What's your take on the market situation right now? Yeah, so just one more comment before yeah. uh, before about the market. I do want to talk about the market. The, look, crypto is a very small community, and and uh, we we all need to unite and work together because our enemy, our united enemy, is traditional finance. They don't want Bitcoin. They don't want Ethereum. They don't want any of these things to exist, right? They have a machine that makes money, right? They print money no matter what, and when they get in trouble, the Fed comes and bails them out. So. For us to win against them, for us to continue earn interest and have cheap loans and be able to do all the things that we do, we need to unite. We need to work together, not fight with each other. That's how you lose, you know. Yeah. And and uh, you know, Caesar Caesar said, "Divide and rule." Right? That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to divide us, and they're trying to continue rule. Seven hundred years of banking ruling. Right? Back to pricing. Um, and I've, I've talked about this on my AMA on Friday, uh, that, that really all these things are connected. A lot of people are watching what's happening in the bond market or what's happening in the stock market or uh, politically and in the war in Russia. And they don't understand that all these things are connected, right? So the, the, the crypto market, right, is a tiny market. It's in total uh, market capitalization is less than one and a half trillion, right? It's watching the stock market, which is... Again, probably a hundred trillion dollars, right? In market capitalization. And the market is watching the Fed, which has the largest balance sheet uh, on the planet, right? Of, of something like $10 trillion. Now, the, the, the Fed is watching inflation, right? Yep. And, and in, inflation is like, again, a three headed dragon that escaped the Pandora box. We kept it in a box for 30 or 40 years, it escaped. And now we have to slay the dragon. Only the Fed can slay the dragon. It doesn't matter what all of us do all over the world. We cannot slay the dragon. So the Fed is going to have to see three months of decreasing inflation numbers, which is, again, equivalent to slaying one head of the dragon, three-headed three dragon every month. If we have three months worth of decreasing numbers, we're out of the woods. The Fed is going to stop worrying about inflation and is going to go and try to help the stock market help other markets. And if the stock market is going to be helped, the crypto markets will do well as well. So we've seen one print from 8.5 to 8.3. So we have one head already slayed. We just need two more heads. Exactly. Right? Until, yeah. until we see that, we're going to be going sideways. That's what I say too. It's the 60 to 75 days, everybody out there. And then this will all be a distant memory. Just need to weather the storm for the next two, two and a half months. And then there's a high probability, 80% chance plus the dragon will be dead. <laughs> or at least missing a few heads. <laughs> well, with that. And, and, yeah, I, th I think, look, we, we had supply chain issues. We had all kind of other reasons why inflation ran up so much. But you have everybody has to understand that since last year, basically the United States is onshoring, meaning all of these things that we offshored, all these things we pushed 
to supply chains in China and Vietnam and other countries are now coming back and being established. It does take some time, but after you establish it, there is plenty of supply. And because there's plenty of supplies, prices are going to stabilize or go down, meaning inflation is going to be out. Also, we already took the hit on the stock market, right? $25 trillion worth of wealth disappeared in the last eight or nine months from people's balance sheet. So companies are cutting back. Uh, uh, the economy is already slowing down. Uh, employment or unemployment is increasing. These are all the things that the Fed wanted to do is a cooling down of the economy. So they already achieved all their goals. They just need to make sure the dragon is slayed and we're out of the woods. Exactly. Well, thank you once again. And I know the audience is very grateful. I can tell by the response here. It's not toxic, which is good. <laughs> At least 99% not, not toxic. We have nearly 3,000 people watching. So once again, thank you for being open and transparent and giving the audience comfort. We appreciate you and the Celsians appreciate you and keep up the good work and keep the transparency going. Thanks for having me back. You're welcome. Thank Take you, care. Bye.